Hi, I'm JL, the developer of the Spritel add-on for Blender, and welcome to the quick start tutorial video. I'll be showing you how to download and install Spritel, and then I'll also be going to the basic uses, the, the basic usages of Spritel. Uh, I'll be doing an, uh, another video about the advanced um, uses of Spritel, but note that this isn't going to be um, necessarily Blender beginner friendly. Uh, it would be better if you knew how to use Blender before jumping into this tutorial, but I'll try to be as accommodating as possible. Um, so with all of that out of the way, let's get started. So first off, a quick introduction on what Spritel uh, is. Spritel is an add-on for Blender 2.8 and above that allows you to build 3D scenes from 2D tile sets like this. So um, the first thing you would want to get is your, uh, yourself is a copy of Blender. So um, you can grab it from blender.org or you can install it off Steam, whichever way works for you. Just make sure you can get, you, you get Blender. Uh, the current version as of recording is 2.9.0. Uh, again, as, uh, as I mentioned, Spritel works from Blender 2.8 uh, and above. There is a version that works for Blender 2.7 series, but that's not very well supported right now. So after you've grabbed a copy of Blender, let's just go to the Spritel website, which is spritel.xyz. Um, go to the Download Now button here. Um, Spritel is free, but any donations that you can make um, for the time I spent developing and writing the documentation would be super appreciated, but you can always just download it. Just go to no things, just take it to the downloads and hit the download, the download button up here. So this will download a zip file, just save it wherever uh, you, you want in your desktop. And go to Blender, uh, go to edit preferences. Let's try this in here. Uh, go to install here. Oh, sorry. Make sure you're you're in the add-ons. Click install, and then let's grab the zip file. The current version, as of recording, is 5.20. So install add-on. Then make sure to you enable the add-on. So since I'm the developer. There's like multiple to install multiple versions. Um, but you'll only see one um, one pop up here. Make sure that you enable the add-on here by checking the, the check mark here. And then just to make sure that uh, you've enabled it, go to um, left click here and hit Save Preferences. And that should be the um, the add-on installed for you. Right, we've got the add-on installed. Let's grab the tile set from the um, documentation. So if you still have the, the download page open in uh, for Spritel, there's a link to the quick start tutorial over here. If not, you can just go to docs.spritel.xyz. That's docs.spritel.xyz and go to the quick start, the quick start tutorial with, um, page and you can just download tileset.png from here. So save that image to your uh, computer and go back to Sprite tile to Blender and, and uh, open up the Sprite tile tab on the sidebar and press load tile set. So we'll load the tile set dot PNG here. And um, now make sure to select your uh, mesh object. A mesh um, Sprite tile tools really only works on mesh objects. So in the Blender default scene, the box is a mesh is a mesh object. So select that and go into the edit mode by pressing tab. And let's clear out the box by pressing X and deleting the vertices. Uh, so these Sprite else tools appears in the toolbar here. So these three icons are Sprite house build tool paint tool and the fill tool. So uh, the first thing we'll do is go into the build tool. 
So when, once you go into any of Sprite Tiles modes, you will see the Tile Palette appear. Uh, if it's being obstructed by the toolbar, you can resize the toolbar by moving your cursor somewhere in the right side of the tools and resizing it there. Or alternatively, you can hit, um, put your mouse over the Tile Palette, hold Shift, and move the Tile Palette around with your middle mouse button. So let's park it here. And yeah, let's start building something. Um, select the grass tile and point your uh, point the viewport so it's facing down. A lot of this sprite tile workflow revolves around the Blender's 3D cursor, which is this circle thing here. Uh, so uh, if we go build mode again, build mode and rotate the viewport. Um, Sprite L will add something called the work plane, which is this grid that goes around that's, that is centered around the the Blender 3D cursor. And wherever your viewport is facing, uh, the the work the, the work plane will try to face um, will try to face to how your viewport is facing. So, for the view, if the viewport is facing down, uh, you're gonna be, you're we will be building um, tiles on the ground. So you'll also notice that the gra the grass tiles here kind of look dull, or at least they're duller than what's showing in the, the tile palette. So this is this is because Blender um, Blender doesn't really render um, unshaded uh, rendering very well. Uh, we can fix this by going to Sprite Tile Utilities here in the panel and going to Setup Pixel Viewport, and that clears up that makes the uh, that makes the, the tiles that we're going to face a lot clearer. So let's click in build mode again. Um, and then let's say, let's just build more. Um, let's build more here. And then you can like, start rotating here and start building, uh, uh, building with the wall tiles here. So again, wherever you're facing the view part is where you will, is the site is axis that you'll be building on. Uh, but you can also note you you might also note that when we're updating when we're changing the viewport um, direction, this uh, part of the panel updates. So what you can actually do is you can just like, press the uh, press this these axes and the the work plane <laughs> will be locked to the to your selection. So say you want to only paint on the Z axis and notice that you can note that you can now like rotate the viewport camera around to whatever axis we want and it'll stay locked there. So to unlock that you can just press this button here, which is the lock um, axis. So now that re that returns to um, facing to wherever the viewport is facing. So now if we're gonna try to build the wall on the far end, you'll notice that our build tool refuses to go there. So again, everything is centered around the Blender 3D cursor. So as long as you're in any of, blend of Sprite Tile's tool modes, holding down S, it'll snap the 3D cursor to the vertex that is closest to the mouse. So this allows us to very quickly move the 3D cursor around since it's such an important part of the sprite tile workflow. So we'll move the 3D cursor to this uh, this corner and start moving. Start moving here. Right. So now that we've built this corner of the wall. Because of the size of our tile set, which, uh, of our tile grid, which is currently 32 by 32, you can notice that the that the repetition of the tiles is very noticeable here. So what you can do is add a smaller tile grid. So just hit the plus button here, which will create a new tile grid, and we can set this to 16 by 16. 
So notice that the the tile palette updates the size, the size, and if we switch between the tile grids, that's reflected in the tile palette. So now that we have a smaller tile palette, we can we can try to build a can try to recreate this wall by using the smaller tile grid. So let's go in select mode, go to face mode, uh, which is these if you're a complete blender beginner. These are your vertex, edge, and face modes. Uh, so select face and again delete these faces. And to recreate this, we'll use the fill tool. So with the fill tool, uh, you'll notice that the work plane is a lot larger. Because this is um, this is essentially the uh, the fill area that um, Sprite Hell will try to fill. You want this to be smaller. You don't need to fill every all of this. So if you go to the to the Sprite Hell's panel here, uh, let's set this to six by four. Yeah, and that looks about right. But now again, if you hold S, you'll snap the 3D cursor to the nearest vertex. But you can't quite. If we're just using the vertex, you can't quite position to. Uh, we can quite position the work plane to fill this area. There's an alternate um, snapping um, system. So if you if you notice here, this says vertex. If it switches the grid, and again hit S, hold down S, and move your mouse, you can now position the the fill grid, the work plane, the work plane fill grid, to exactly where you want it to be. Uh, a shortcut for switching between vertex and grid is holding down S and pressing Control. Well, it's pressing Shift rather. Shift Control. 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 <laughs> so hit Control. This is now snapping to the vertex again. Hit Control and it's snapping to the grid. There we go. All right. Uh, we can do multiple selections. I'm going to do a smaller tile grid. So let's. Select the let select these four tiles and fill this area. And if we exit Sprite Tiles full mode, you can see that the mesh is now made up of smaller faces. And we can edit this with Sprite Tiles build mode again. So let's stick with the 16 by 16 tile grid. And you can start breaking up the repetition here. So let's grab different tiles. And just like start placing them, just to break up the repetition again. Yeah. Um, a quick way to rotate um, the tiles if you're putting down is pressing the Q or the E key. Oh, hang on. The Q or the E keys. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Q or E will rotate your tiles, which is also reflected here. So you can also rotate the tiles here. Uh, or pressing Shift Q, Shift E will flip the tiles um, as you place them. So this is a quick way to add the var to create your variations. Yeah. So just like that, that just that just breaks up the repetition in the in the wall, and that's like those are the quick uh, those are the build tools and the the fill tool. Now we will move on to the paint tool. The paint tool is the mo is most useful when we're going to be when you're trying to paint something that is irregular and not on the x y z axis. For example, this torus that I've placed in the uh, in the scene. If we try painting with uh, without any special settings, you'll notice that nothing really makes sense. <laughs> you sprite out. Um, we can fix this by turning on the hinting. And by turning on hinting, uh, this tells Sprite Dial that uh, any edge that we selected, like for example, for in this case, I've selected the edge loop around here. That edge loop becomes the 
becomes the bottom of uh, like Spiral considers that as a bot as the bottom of the of the tile. So, for example, if you're um, if I'm trying to paint this uh, this tile and rotate it here, you see that with the with it, with hinting turned on, edge hinting turned on, the selected edge become a, my painting becomes very consistent. So, just consistently paints on the correct edge because of hinting. Um, yeah, so once you kind of get away from the edge, maybe you need to choose a different edge. So now it's this one. Again, that makes it very consistent. That. Yeah, so that's one thing you can do with edge painting. Another thing you might want you can do is you can start using other blender tools. I can remember which way it is. Right, so I've selected this, I've selected that edge and if you just extrude. So that's not exactly what I wanted. Let's go back again. So let's just let's just select the ground edges. Extrude that long Y and down. So now that's not on the again, that's not on um, the XYZ axis. But if we paint go into paint mode and I'm gonna paint since we, since this is a 32 by 32 grid, we probably want to be on 32 by 32. So if you try painting here, you can see that. And let's turn off hinting. Oh, this is because this tile is rotated 180 degrees, so let's reset that. Uh, you can see that we're going to try. I want to paint this here, but it's getting stretched because the stretch um, polygons are set here. So let's turn off stretch Y. And now we're only getting the center because this is being aligned to uh, the center. So if we set the UV line up to, to the top, and now just paint it like regular, regularly. And it works, and that's pixel perfect. Um, so yeah, so between, uh, so like when you're starting to model off the grid, the paint tool is probably your, um, your strongest tool uh, when you're working with Sprite out. Uh, so I think that's it for the Sprite uh, basic tutorial. Um, there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot more flexibility that we haven't covered yet, but that will be for a future video. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you have fun uh, working with Sprite Owl. Goodbye.